what's up you guys so i'm just gonna jump right into the video first i'm starting off with the nivea men's um shave balm or whatever Kath not kathleen well i watched kathleen's review but um nikki tutorials always talks about it and i think i got the wrong one but i don't know it works for me so y'all so for foundation i actually mix two l'oreal foundations the l'oreal lumi which i'm in w3 and um the l'oreal pro matte infallible which i got the shade 106 i think sun beige and i'll talk about it more in like a different video but yeah i love this combination and i'm just blending it out with a really really dirty beauty blender i used it earlier in the day when i went somewhere and i didn't really clean it but you know whatever it's gonna blend this shit out and onto the neck, of course, because you can't have a different looking face than neck, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just putting this Nivea um, lip butter on. I think it's a raspberry. I don't know. I just like to moisturize before I get into the groove of things, I guess. And uh, next, I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Master Conceal. And I'm in the shade, I think, light medium. And I'm... Applying it first with um, my e.l.f. concealer brush. I love applying it with that. And then I like to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender just does some magic and helps um, prevent creasing and such. And I'm just putting on some high points on a face that I want to highlight. And blending that out as well. And then I'm taking my um, Real Technique setting brush and my NYX setting powder in Banana. And I'm sorry for my background. I'm currently working on a project for um, a Christmas present. And I didn't really feel like cleaning it up, TBH. And I just took an NYC setting powder. And now I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera. If you're wondering, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And a Sonia Cash brush. And I just brought you forward with my magic powers. And I'm going to take this shade Coco from the Lorac 2 Pro Palette. This is going to be your main shade. And since I did all my foundation and concealer first, I decided I wanted to use a tissue for, as like a barrier for the fallout. And I sadly realized later on that <laughs> it did help for the most part. It did more um, good than harm. But it didn't catch every droplet of fallout, unfortunately. And I applied that with a Urban Decay flat shader brush. I got it in the Naked palette a few years ago. And I'm just blending out the edges with a Sonia Kashuk blending brush, as I always do. You know the drill. See, this is the fallout, but oh well. And I'm taking the light brown shade from the Lorac 2 palette. And I'm going to use this as a transition and just to help blend that out even more. Even though that color did beautifully, beautifully blend out, I just want to add a little some extra, you know. Oh, we need extra. And... And now I'm taking the shade Beige. And I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. You could use a brighter one, but this is still a pretty bright, nice highlight. I don't want anything too um, stark white, like the shade Snow right next to it. And I'm blending out light brown into it to make it nice and um, faded and ombre-ish looking. And I'm just touching up the cocoa shade because um, I feel like a lot of the color got taken away as I blended before. And now I'm taking that same shade beige and put it in the inner corner and blended it out a little bit so it's not too um, harsh. And now I, that was a extreme eye roll for you because I had to wipe away all my concealer. <laughs> and now I'm taking the in this Kate in the Saint Kat Von D palette, the shade um, Carvagio, I believe. I don't know. I'll link it down. I'll um, write it down below in the description. And I'm putting it on with that um, flat shader brush. In the outer corner, just add some a little bit of dimension. It doesn't do much, but everything counts, you know. And I'm just blending that out with the Sonia Kashuk brush. And I'm just taking this Maybelline concealer 
just to touch up where I had to wipe away because I'm running out of my Maybelline Eye Studio, so I just use this instead. And this also helps clean up the eyeshadow, make it look nice and sharp, especially when I'm not wearing eyeliner, you know? Now I'm just resetting that so it stays and doesn't fray. And I'm taking this, I think it's a Liquid Blast eyeliner from CoverGirl. It's dark brown. And then I'm taking a Rimmel, Rimmel Coal Liner in Nude and putting this on my waterline. I was debating on doing this in like a stark, stark white eyeliner, but I thought this looked more subtle and prettier. And I'm actually taking my eyebrow brush and I'm going to take that Carvaggio shade from the Saint Kat Von D palette and I'm going to tightly put that on my um, lower lash line. And then I decided to also take Coco on top of that. It doesn't do much, it just, I don't know. I just decided to put it on top. I feel like it was um, deeper in color, I guess you could say. And then I'm going to take the shade light brown again on a blending brush. And yeah, I pointed at Cool Gray accidentally, but oh well. But yeah, I'm going to take it on the blending brush and just create that ombre effect again, but on the lower lash line. So it kind of mimics the crease transition porty eye. And now I'm just going to take my Their Real Mascara from Benefit. I just have a sampler and I absolutely love this mascara. I want to get it full size. You could apply um, whatever falsies, but you know me, I can't do that shit. And now I'm using my Coco Contour to chisel those motherfucking cheekbones. Make them touch the sky. And when you apply contour, you want to blend it upward because, of course, you want to raise those cheekbones and not sag them down, you know? I'm taking this Mary Kay shade that's super pigmented, so I'm just like lightly, lightly tapping it in there, like extremely lightly, because I don't want it too bright, but I didn't want to skip out on a blush, because I think that just helps warm up the face and all that shit. And I'm just taking it on that same e.l.f. brush that I used to contour with, and I'm not sure what that blush shade is called. I'll list it down below. And now I'm taking Anastasia's So Hollywood Illuminator, and yeah, and So Hollywood. <laughs> I didn't think I said the name yet, but um, this is super gold, and later on you'll see that I add some more of a cool highlighter to go along with um the theme of this makeup. But I just love this highlighter so much, I didn't want to not use it, you know. So here, this is where I made what I took a cooler shade. I took that shade Snow from the Lorac 2 palette and just popped it on the really high cheeks, parts of my cheekbones. Um, I just thought it did a little extra. didn't do much, but it's not necessary. And now I'm just putting some highlighter on my nose, then my cupid's bow, and then I will put it on my chin as well. And I use the Real Techniques setting brush for this as well. And now I'm taking the Evian spray. This isn't going to help my the longevity of my makeup or anything, but it just helps everything melt together because I'm out of my next dewy setting spray at the moment. And now for the stole of the show, I'm going to use Stone Fox Liquid Suede Lipstick, I think is what they're called, um, from NYX. These don't last very long, but I love the colors of these, and I in particularly this shade. I just think it's like a gorgeous navy gray shade. And I thought this looked really pretty with the eye look that we did today. A nude or whatever. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So this is the final look. Um, I feel like it like... I don't know. I just wanted to do like a cool tone brownie blue lip I don't know why I just feel like it's super wintry and it's not like your typical like cozy warm um glittery look I don't know I just was feeling it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up 
comment, subscribe to me if you want to more of me. Make sure to follow my Instagram page where I post almost daily. The last week I've been slacking a little bit. I don't know why I've been like in a funk. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed once again. And thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Yeah.